GoV Glide Hexalite Panels Review Nowadays, it seems that just owning a good smart light is enough to set up a smart home system. Most consumers go for the light bulb approach instead of buying a smart light panel. It makes sense that they would be easier to set up than some of the others since they usually come with their own adapter. And most of them don't require any hubs at all. We love light bulbs because they're so easy to install, they come in an array of cool colors, and you can change them out whenever the mood strikes. But if you've got a space that needs a little something extra, NanoLeaf might be able to help you out. Their new shape lights offer a lot of flexibility, allowing you to create unique designs and patterns on your walls. And best of all, these lights aren't just limited to decorating your living room, they'll work anywhere else in your house too. These Glide Hexapad Nano Light Panels from Govs are not quite as sophisticated as the shape panels. But, they do offer a lot of versatility thanks to their wide range of customizations through the Govi app. Plus, for anyone who thinks that the larger sized Nano Leaf panels are too large, the smaller hexapaneled Nano Lights are just right. With either option, you get 7 panels for $169.99 plus the necessary hardware. If you're accustomed to buying cheap light bulb sets, paying $100 plus for a set of light panels might seem excessive. However, keep in mind that light panels aren't just any old light bulb. These ones can display up to 6 colors and provide ambient lighting. On the plus side, these panels are slightly cheaper than the competitors' options, costing between $200 and $300 in the US, the UK, and Australia. However, they're not quite as cheap as the cheapest option from the other companies we've reviewed. Unlike Nano Leaf shapes, the Govi Glide Hexalite panels need some precise assembly. It's because the correct positions for connecting the end of the connector are highly dependent on your designs. However, if you want to assemble them yourself, then it will take a little more time and effort. Fortunately, the Govi app has a built-in tutorial that walks you through the entire assembly from start to finish. So you don't need to worry about putting in your own design, just follow the steps. It takes some time to set up the connection between the panel and the smart assistant, but once everything is connected, it won't take too long to get things working. Really, the most frustrating thing about the assembly process is the connections themselves. We design them to be long, which means they're not easy to fit together if you don't want to break any connections. So if you're going to put the panels next to each other, you need to fold them and tuck them in. The trickiest part of designing a new layout is removing old panels. There isn't a refined method for doing so, and the adhesive used by Govi sticks to surfaces like nobody's ever seen before. So, you have pulled the entire thing off the wall without breaking anything or inadvertently disconnecting any connectors. We've already covered how to build a website, so let's talk about what happens next. Once you've built your site, you'll want to make sure that it loads quickly. You may also want to consider optimizing your images because if they take too long to load, people might just leave. And lastly, you should check that your site works properly across multiple devices.